do burnouts. He's, wait, he's customer said do burnouts? Customer said do burnouts. Perfect. He said drive it, <laughs> have fun, and do burnouts. Did you have a, uh, I'm gonna need some, some written uh, consent no, there. I ain't got that. Written sign consent. I'll take your word for it though. <laughs> <laughs> Chris was the witness. I heard it. He was red bearded. <laughs> so, red bearded guy. We are doing fitment revisions on our chromoly tubular subframe for the 09 to 15 Cadillac CTSV. We did our quick mock-up on our jig that we made, place it in the car, see where things need to be moved, clearance-wise, what need to be changed to fit better or look better. But one of the biggest things we were dealing with was motor mount plates where the actual motor mount itself will secure to the subframe so factory all cast aluminum and it just has a foot that comes off so we wanted to do something similar but you know we want to keep everything open lightweight no future headaches you know if something's really close we don't want it to be that way just in case something's different on a car for some weird reason. We don't want to run into any trouble with fitment. So, to start out, what we did was we built a similar box to where the control arm goes, but a little bit larger, wider, and then placed next to it. So it's um, an offset box. Well, the first thing we ran into was the steering rack makes contact with the box enough contact to where i can't get the bolt in here without rubbing against this arm so we thought of a few different ways of doing it and stuff like that uh, one of the issues is this motor mount bolt isn't just straight it's at an angle and then you also have a control arm bolt that is adjustable for your alignment well depending on where this bolt is, it gets very close to the engine mount bolt. So that restricted us on some of the ideas that we had. So what we came up with and what it's gonna look like is gonna work, we're gonna go from this boxy thing, which really I wouldn't be satisfied with the look of that anyways, uh, over to something along this rough draft that we got. If you look at the engine mounts that we we make for these. They've got a round foot. That round foot fits this perfect. And then we got a flat edge here so we can secure it to the control arm box efficiently. This may not be the final design. This is just to get us going in the right direction. We may change the size, move some things around. But this is how our rough setup looks. Much more sleek design still reinforced, gives you much more access to that control arm bolt, which the nut would be on that side for when you're doing alignment. But most importantly, it opens up a bunch of room around this uh, steering rack. This setup is to be able to drop directly into a factory CTSV and all your components just bolt right up to it. No headaches, you don't have to buy another component because you bought our subframe. No, it'll work with everything stock. Um, we may offer a chromoly control arm, lower control arm to go with this subframe for a stock setup, simply because a lower control arm on the factory car is tremendously heavy. They're not hollow, they're solid cast aluminum. And it, if, you, if you've ever taken one out to do bushings on it, you'd be you know how heavy it is. It's very surprising. Another thing, the reason why we want all this back to be nice and open is because a lot of twin turbo guys have issues with 
proper filters. They don't have enough room for a proper size filter. Um, and they have to take the filters off when they go racing. Some guys don't like that because of the debris that can get in the vehicle, especially if you're doing any type of uh, racing on an airport or half mile event where there's a lot of sand, maybe uh, some street runs or something like that. You never know what you'll suck up in the turbos. So this is gonna offer a lot more room. I mean, not just that, uh, you have a limitation on how big of a turbo you can shove underneath the car because of the, the subframe. So this will open up uh, options to different turbo sizes as well. And what a lot of the twin turbo guys do is they cut this piece off to give them room for their turbos and air filters, but it normally only be, ends up being a very short air filter or a turbo guard that they can run, which doesn't catch fine debris and stuff. So we're opening up that much more room and uh, possibilities. This is the rough draft. We plan on doing uh, a few more tubes in here to box everything in. So when you're on a jig, that looks really good. Unfortunately, the car's uh, frame itself actually has a sweep to it. So when you put this in there, there's a big void over half of this that is just being a tube ran through the middle of it where you could actually utilize tucking the tube better and get more room for anything in the future. You never know. So now instead of that tube running all the way across right here, we've opened this up. So there's more room there for whatever goodies we may need. Uh, and it just, it looks better. It's, it flows with the factory section of the car. It looks like it's supposed to be there. That's one of the plus sides of getting one of our products. We always seem to go that extra 10% just because that's how we would want it on our car. So that's how we want it on your vehicle. So we're gonna do a little bit more, uh, probably come off these boxes and come back into this. We're probably gonna come off the back of this and come into this other box. So the, box, the control arm boxes will have more than one connection point. And also when you put the control arm in there and it's tight, it'll also form another box. But to prevent any premature wear on bushings, uh, suspension components in the control arm, we're gonna make sure that there's no flexing or even minor movement in any of the subframe. We want it as strong as possible. And we will be running this one in our four second, eight mile CTSV, which will hopefully be breaking the record November 4th through the 8th at the Hail Mary Derby in uh, Maryland. So this will be in there and if it can withstand the crap that we throw at our car, it'll be able to hold whatever you want to throw at it in yours. So hopefully we'll have this thing all finished up and a better update for you next week. Maybe see the finished product actually in the car with some stuff bolted up to it. So look out for that one.